بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن ول ٹو ڈے از اے بلس ڈے آف فرائیڈے اینڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شیئر فیو فرائیڈے ریفلیکشنس ود یو آئی ایم گو نو ٹاک اباؤٹ اللہ دا موسٹ اپریشیٹو ون اشکور سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹیڈ Okay, let me start with this hadith which is in Sahih Muslim. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Whosoever relieves from a believer some grief pertaining to this world, Allah will relieve from him some grief pertaining to the hereafter. Whosoever alleviates the difficulties of a needy person who cannot pay his debt, Allah will alleviate his difficulties in both this world and the hereafter." Whosoever conceals the faults of a Muslim, Allah will conceal his faults in this world and the hereafter. Allah will aid a servant so long as the servant aids his brother. Subhanallah. Isn't this beautiful? Now, reading this hadith, it actually humbles us. Why? Why? because we are given so much for doing things that we should be doing anyway at the very least out of thanks because of all that we have been given and when we see this concept of appreciation what should immediately come to mind is that we should be appreciative and grateful for the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us everything from the material to our friends and family to the spiritual See Allah is a shakur one of the beautiful names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and i will say in urdu Allah bade qadardan hai you know which means the most appreciative and uh, al-ghazali tells us um, about a shakur he says that al-shakur is the one who rewards the practice of a few pious deeds many fold and in response to the action of a few days gives limitless happiness in the life to come Now what does that mean what does allah have to be appreciative for see everything we have is from him anyway but that is why he is a shakur the most appreciative it means he appreciates the smallest of deeds he appreciates the deeds all the time and his appreciation is unlimited with allah the cycle is never ending allah says in the quran and whoever commits a good deed we will increase for him good therein indeed allah is forgiving and appreciative see when we deal with human beings um you could give them a gift and they respond with a thanks or a gift in return maybe but it ends there right with allah he tells us that when we thank he gives us more so it is a cycle of increase and encouragement for you to be grateful and constantly doing good subhanallah so always remember nothing we ever do is lost because allah appreciates the smallest of deeds he appreciates all the time and you know sometime when it comes to doing good uh some of us are hesitant and sometimes we think uh, like you know um i'm a such a sinner and we may think like will allah really appreciate the pathetic deeds that i do when i commit such horribly bad deeds so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says surely our lord is indeed ever forgiving appreciative and he is the most forgiving most appreciative So this actually gives us the reassurance that even if we commit sinful deeds we can return to Allah and he will inshallah forgive us while rewarding us for the good subhanallah so in the end take home messages go out of your way to help someone not expecting anything in return because Allah is the most appreciative he will appreciate you for your good deeds smallest good deeds or biggest good deeds 
but he is there to appreciate all the time and according to the hadith i mentioned in the beginning allah will aid a servant so long as a servant aids his brother if you are helping someone trust me someone along the road will do that for you as a reward from allah subhanahu wa taala so this is friday reflections for today i hope it's going to be beneficial for you guys i will see you with another reminder assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh